What's up guys? Risuno from the Beefy Smash Dudes here. In a recent video, we explained how input buffering works and mentioned a special case regarding Yoshi's egg lay that we didn't understand back then. Now we found out what the issue is and we will show it to you. Okay, so in the input buffer video, I told you about Yoshi's egg lay release and that sometimes if you buffer an aerial out of it, a random move comes out. For example, you want to use an up air, but your character performs a down air. Something like that. We decided to call this mechanic Aerial Input Lock. The name will make sense as soon as I finished explaining what it is and how it works. Since then, I came up with a lot of theories. I thought about an own time frame at the end of the egg lay that might reset the buffer inputs. I even tried if it had to do with touching the stage while being in the egg. A week later, after almost giving up, I remembered something from the very beginnings of Smash 4. Remember Yoshi's teleport glitch? We never covered it, so let me quickly explain it. Every time you used up B after a ledge jump, you triggered the glitch. If you kept pressing the B button quickly enough, the glitch stayed active. By keeping it active, Yoshi started teleporting as soon as he threw an egg on stage. It didn't matter what special move you use, as long as you kept hitting that B button. So, I thought about it like this. Could it be possible that if you keep mashing the A button while in the egg, you kinda lock the input? And checkpot, I was right. Before I tell you what exactly happened, I want to make one thing sure. Stay until the end of the video, because I got something that will surprise you. Moving on, let me explain how exactly the aerial input lock works. As soon as you're inside the egg and start mashing the A button, the game will register the first aerial input and save it. It will keep the information until you drop the mashing and you cannot override it with a different aerial until then. The first time you hit the A button when mashing it, the game will save it and the current stick position together as one input. Here's an example. Yoshi swallows Mario. Mario is now in the egg and starts mashing using the stick and the A button. The first input he used was upwards plus A, so basically an up air. The game will keep this input as the saved command as long as the Mario player keeps mashing the A button quick enough. If he does keep up the mashing, the aerial attack at the end will be an up air, no matter where the stick was at the release. The same goes for every other aerial. If the first input was just A without any stick inputs, the buffered move will be a neutral air, no matter where the stick is at the end. This does only apply to normal aerials, not special moves. And of course, if you use a move with higher priority, like a special for example, the aerial will not come out. The whole process can be stopped or reset by not pressing A long enough. From that point on, it will save the next input as the new one and won't override it as long as you keep spamming A. So what does this mean? It shows that you can choose what to buffer out of the egg at the very beginning without worrying how to mash afterwards. It also explains why often people try to get a specific aerial out of it and end up performing a random one. Now they know why. Okay, as I said before, I was going to tell you something else regarding that topic. You guys told us in the comments that this also somewhat applies to Zero Suit Samus down B for example. We tested it and yeah, after the kick the same thing happens. But then C5 had a brilliant question. Who says that this does not apply to every aerial used after a move? And he was right. So no matter what you do while in the air, the next buffered aerial suffers from this problem. The aerial input lock can be triggered during any animation that needs to end before you can act again. This does include things like air dodges, special moves, aerial attacks and even hit stun. No matter how long the animation lasts, you can lock the aerial input for the whole duration. Want to use back air strings as Donkey Kong and try adjusting your horizontal spacing for a split second? Expect a forward air coming out. Want to buffer a neutral air out of your short hop air dodge but kept holding the stick while starting to mesh A? Well, there you get your back air. You see, this is an issue that affects not just Yoshi's egg, but every single character in the game. This is important to know, so you can understand what, when and how to start mashing if you need it. You can also use the C-Stick to set the first aerial input you want to lock. 
This lock will always reset if the character's current animation gets interrupted by something. For example, knockback. Some characters can even trigger it by themselves while using a move. For example, the moment Pikachu's Thunderbolt hits it, the aerial input lock resets. Okay, and that's it. We solved the mystery. It was quite a lot of work to find out what it was, but we did it. What do you think about the aerial input lock? Do you think this mechanic can be helpful? Or is it just annoying? Tell us in the comments. And with that said, thanks for watching, see you soon and stay beefy.